Welcome to Excel 2010 Business Math video number 30. Hey, if you want to download this workbook, Business, oh no, Excel 2010 Business Math Chapter 3, Section 3.5, or any of the PDFs or PowerPoints for this chapter, click on the link below the video. Hey, we're not going to start in Excel, we're going to start over in PowerPoint. And I want to do some hand calculations. Now, ultimately, the point of this video is to to be able to take a fractional percent and immediately in our head understand approximately what number it is. Now I just want to remind you of a few things. Um, if you see 100 divided by 100, let's just put this in our mind in a way we might understand. Okay, so there's a test. You get 100 out of 100 points, right? So if you get out of 100 or out of 100, you can do that immediately in your head. You just say, oh yeah, I got 100%. But let's break it down. What's anything divided by itself? It's always going to equal 1, right? So from now on in this class, and you want to memorize this, anytime you see the number 1, you know that translates into 100%. All right, let's take another example. 1 out of 100. Okay, the meaning of a percentage is it tells you how many parts out of 100, right? So when you do this division, and this is also something you want to basically memorize. One, the first couple times you do the division, but after this you need to see that this is 0 0.01. You need to, as soon as you see either one of these, this fraction or this decimal here, you immediately need to say, oh yeah, yeah, that's 1%, right? Whoops. So one part out of 100. Similarly, you could extend this and anytime you see, you know, any whole number compared to the 100 like that, you should be able to at least the ones 1 2 3 4 5, right? Just immediately write it as a decimal, right? And this you should also immediately be able to say, "Oh, that's 2%." Now, it takes practice, but at least at minimum See in your head, 1 is 100% and 0 0.01 is 1%. The one you want to watch out for when you when you come into this is what's 10 divided by 100. If you do the division, it's 0 0.1. Now here's a great trick. If you're going to write it this way, might as well put the extra 0, right? Then you can see it this and see this right here. This one you know immediately it's 1%. If you write the extra zero, that's a little visual prompt and it will help you to remember to just write it as 10%. All right, so moving forward in the class, you know, these are the type of things you want to just be able to immediately look at and say, okay, that's the percentage. Now, we're going to use that knowledge to help us understand fractional percents. All right, so I'm going to come up here. Okay, so on the way into work today, I heard on the radio they said the NASDAQ is up three tenths of a percent. And they just said it in the, the radio uh, report, it was a business report. They just assumed that everyone would understand what it, what it means. Now, if you can't, what, what I want to do is, is this, I want to ask the question, is this greater than 1% or less than 1%? And here's a mental trick you can do to help yourself figure out. Just take the denominator and write it, and then put a 10 up here and a percent symbol. Okay? And you, what we're doing is we're comparing. This is in your head, right? You hear the announcer say three tenths of a percent. Immediately go, oh, 10 tenths of a percent. Oh, well, that's going to, of course, equal 1%. Right? So you do this in your head. You take whatever the denominator is, put it in both the numerator and denominator with the percentage, understand that it's 1%, and then go, oh, yeah, so this right here has to be less than 1%. Now let's go from a fractional percent to a decimal. Now we've already done this once in this class. This is just kind of a, a helpful mental trick. All right, step one, we drop the percent symbol. Step, whoops. Okay, so that zero's got a big black eye. Okay, but that's 10. All right, step two. We do the division. So we say 10. That one doesn't have a black eye. 10's and 3. Oh, I don't know. So I'm going to put a decimal here, and I'm immediately going to put that up there. A 0 there. A 0 here. How many 10's are in 30? There's 3. All right? And there's no remainder. Right? So then this turns into point z uh, 0 0.3. 
right? But notice, what did we start with? We started with a percentage. So we know eventually we have to slide the decimal. All we did here is take the 3 tenths and write it as a, a number, right? We could still have the percent symbol there, and that would be correct. But now, to go from that fractional percent here to a total decimal, we have to do step three, which is, of course, slide the decimal two positions to the left. Now, anytime you slide decimals to the left, it's as if you're dividing by 100. right? So this is going to become something like that. So slide two to left, same as divide by 100. Now, this is going to be important because in Excel, we can simply, uh, instead of doing this longhand, we can just take this number, 3 divided by 10, and then divide it by 100, and it will give us the resulting decimal. Okay? But here's our decimal. right? Here, we in our minds, we had 3 tenths of a percent. We compared it to 10 over 10 percent. We realized it was 1. We said, OK, then this has to be less than 1 percent. But let's do the similar trick here. When I get a, a decimal written like this, I want to compare this. Now, we just talked a moment ago in the last slide. You should have memorized this number, 0 0.01. You should know that this means 1 percent. Now we can compare. There is no integer here. There's no integer here. So because there's nothing here, right? There's, there's a one there. That means this thing is less than 1%. OK, so you can compare in your, in your mind. There's 0, 1. There's no 1 there. So because all the numbers are to the right here, it means it's less than 1%. All right, now let's do another example. All right, so this is what happened. I heard on the radio, NASDAQ up by 3 tenths of a percent. About one and a half minutes later, they said, Oh no, a terrible inflationary number just came out. Wholesale prices are up by eight, t eight tenths of a percent. So again, within a span of two minutes, they're twice throwing this fractional percent out there, assuming that you know. So immediately, what do you do? You go, no problem. I have this trick. I'm going to take the denominator 10, and I'm going to write it in the numerator and denominator with a percentage symbol. I'm immediately going to realize anything divided by itself is 1, 1%. 1 so I'm comparing in my mind. So I'm comparing in my mind. So 8 tenths is less than 1%, right? Because 10 over 10 would give us 1. 8 tenths is less than 1. All right, now the steps for converting this to a decimal, we're going to drop the percentage symbol do the division. Now I'm going to do the division to show it two different ways. We put 10. How many 10s are in 8, right? But you could do it like this. And this is what we'll do over in Excel. I'm going to take 8 tenths. And if you're doing it on math, you draw a big, huge bar, that which means take this fraction and divide it by 100. Now in Excel, since we're required in, on the board in math, they give you this big, long division bar, and this is a little one. It means do this one first, then do this. When we get over to Excel, we just go 8 divided by 10 divided by 100. And it will automatically do it left to right. All right, but that's just another way of on the board visually portraying this. Now let's do this. There's How many 10s are in 8? I don't know. So I'm going to put a decimal, bring it up here. How many 10s are in 88? Right? But that's only step two. Step three, take 0 0.8, and I slide it one, two. So two little cups, right? And that's where I put the decimal. If there's nothing, you put another 0. So the resultant decimal is 0, 0, 8. And immediately you compare in your brain, right? Broop. You compare and you go, OK, by now I have memorized 0.01 is 1%. I can see that number is less than that. So of course, it's less than 1%. All right, so those are some helpful tricks. You know, this little trick right here is what you can do in your brain while you're listening to the radio. You know, this kind of stuff is what you do over uh, 
on a piece of paper or something. Now let's go over to Excel. I'm going to end show and then save. I, I did this in PowerPoint, so I'm going to keep the hand drawings and I'll post those. Right? Um, and now I'm going to go over to Excel if I can find my workbook. All right, so here's the trick in Excel. If you see a fractional percent, we know we're going to have to do equals 3 divided by 10. Uh, and we did this before, and then we slid the decimal by hand. But instead of sliding the de decimal, if you understand that sliding the decimal 2 to the left is the same as dividing by 100, you can do that. And that's, that's the trick right there. Here, we have 7 tenths, so I'm going to go equals 7 divided by 10. And I know because I started with percentages over here, I know eventually I'm going to have to slide that decimal. Well, instead of sliding it to the left, I'm going to divide by 100. And this one also, we didn't do this one by hand over there, but I certainly can go. And I see that percentage symbol there, so I know I'm going to have to slide it sometime. Equals 1 divided by 4. I have to slide it. Instead of sliding it by hand, I'm going to divide by 100. Well, there we go. All right, uh, next video, we'll start doing increase, decrease, rate of change problems. All right, see you next video.